What is up guys, Dylan here, and on today's episode we're going to be doing a one year review of the Nakamichi 7.2.4 sound system. Uh, I have done a previous video about this sound system when I first got it, so if that sounds interesting, jump down to the description box down below. There's a link, it'll take you over to that video as well. Both videos are my own personal opinion, I'm not being paid or sponsored in any way, shape or form for the videos at this point. So, there you go. Um, I do would I would like to talk about the gaming experience, the movie experience, the music experience of using this bar, as well as get into some questions and comments you guys had on my previous video. So, what is it like living with the Nakamichi sound system? Absolutely love it. Um, there, yes, there has been some issues, so let's address those first. Snap, crackle, and pop. Every once in a while, the rear speakers will do like a little <laughs> clap sound upon turning the sound system off. So it's not really an issue while watching movies, um, but it does happen when you're shutting down the system. I don't know, that seems to be really the biggest issue that I've had with the sound system powering it down. Um, otherwise, when watching movies every once in a while, if you pause the video and stream it forward or fast forward it or rewind it, the sound will get mislinked, that happens. So the way I address it power the sound system off, turn it back on. I know it sucks, but that's how you can fix that problem. Um, it seems to fix it. I have done updates to the system since I've purchased it, and you do that by having a USB thumbstick, and you put it on the computer, and then you stuff it into the back of one of the subwoofers, and then you update the sound system through that, and it seems to be better. It still happens every once in a while, but it's much better. Um, it's a much better experience overall, so there you go. The movie watching experience, I've had some friends over who have watched movies with me on the sound system, and it's great when it's a scary movie or something, you'll hear a door like creak in the background, and they literally have like looked over their chairs and been like, what was that dude? And like, I'm like, that's just, that's the sound system. So, it's, it's pretty cool. Um, gaming experience, dude, <laughs> insane. Insane. I was playing Call of Duty one time and um, I was sitting down like downstairs in a house and all of a sudden I had both the rear speakers by the way pointed up to create the atmospheric kind of bubble sound um, and I was in game mode as well on the controller and the system but I was gaming and all of a sudden I hear footsteps upstairs in the house and I'm like dude somebody's up there I ran upstairs and killed two people who were camping and hiding around upstairs on that game. And I looked right away at my friend and I was like, this is why I have this sound system. Like, dude, insane. Little details, little details, but sound system was able to produce it. Now, in gaming experience, um, make sure, I, I'm playing on the PS4. I don't know how the PS5 is, but PS4, in order to get the Dolby sound to come through this system, you have to go into your sound system on your PlayStation and adjust the settings in the sound to make sure that you're playing 7.2 as well as surround and make sure that you're getting Dolby Bitstream. So make sure you change those settings in PlayStation sound in the setting system in order to get true Dolby. Now, um, how do you know if the system's playing Dolby? That's great. So. When you're watching something on Netflix, you should see it stream right across here. Uh, and when you first start the movie, it should stream across. Right now I'm in Dolby Digital because I'm on my PlayStation, but I'm on my website. So, Dolby Digital. It goes across the screen there. And I just checked that by hitting info one time. It can vary upon your content you're watching from DTSX to um, Dolby Digital to loads of others because this thing's insane. <laughs> um, uh, let's see, oh music, so music experience on this sound system has been pretty good overall, um, if you're very very picky it's not the greatest, it has very good highs, kind of muddy mids, and insane thumping subs, so in my opinion I'm not too worried about the mids because I can drown that out with my subwoofer, I love sub, my personal opinion, if you guys like sub this is a sound system for you, <laughs> just saying. If you're looking at sound bars and you don't want the wires and everything else of a home theater system, I still highly recommend this system. 
um, you can crank up those subwoofers and you're not going to have any issues in your mids anymore. <laughs> Problem solved. So yes, there's better sound systems out there, I think, for music listening experiences overall. Uh, do I, would I have to buy a separate one? No. No, I don't. This one is going to do the trick. Music volume. Um, I've heard people say issues of the sound system cutting out at higher db levels db levels is your decibel levels it's your noise volume levels i have not really had an issue with this maybe once maybe once or twice where my sound system has just cut out for no apparent reason um you just turn the system off turn it on and the problem solved i don't know why it happens i have had it happen but i'm only playing on levels between 20 to 30 volume level the volume level spectrum goes from 0 to 100, and it goes up by twos every time you push the volume up button. So 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, et cetera, et cetera. Um, I normally keep it between 20 to 30, and I've already gotten in trouble at the sound levels at that level decibels. Um, it's loud. It's kind of like having a Ferrari trapped in the cage. Like, it's, it's a beast. I think it's time to address some of the questions you guys had in my last video. So let's go over to that. Um, so, again, if you guys haven't seen my previous video, a lot of people really, really liked it. Uh, I had 161 comments from you guys, and a lot of people were very appreciative of that original video. So thank you very much. I really appreciate all of the respectful comments and likes um, on that video. So thank you. Um, one of the first ones, <laughs> how big is the box? Uh, one second. Big. Yep. This box probably is about four feet, four and a half feet high. And maybe a foot and a half wide, two feet wide. Pretty big. Is there any patches available to avoid the delay in starting the voices when switching videos? I, I talked about that issue that I personally had earlier as well. No, there's not really any patches that are going to fix that. It just gets less um, on update. Now, again, FW35 is the current update that I'm on. I don't have too many terrible issues with it. So... Maybe try updating your system if it's not to that. How you can check that update again, just hit your info button, scroll through until you see FW number and whatever number it is. Um, F35 was the latest one that I had updated mine to and I updated it maybe like maybe a year ago. So can you use the same TV remote control as the volume for the sound system? So what they're saying is can I use can I use my TV remote control instead of my my um, Nakamichi remote control? The answer to that is yes, you can. You're not going to be able to change it from music, movies, sound, uh, games. You're not going to have those like fine details. That's going to be on this remote control. But as for volume, yes, you can use your regular remote control on your TV. Do you have any recommendations about this sound system since posting the last video? Here we are. <laughs> How do you fix the music issue? I don't hear it in the rear speakers. Um, I would adjust my rear speakers. So I would make sure that they're both plugged into my subwoofer, make sure they're plugged in nice and snug. And then you are able to go into sound settings and you can actually bump up your rear speaker volume just using your remote control here. So you can actually adjust those. So I would push them up a little bit if you're not hearing it out of the back speakers. Um, for size comparison, how big is the bar to your TV? That TV is a 65 inch Sony Bravia. It, it's pretty it's pretty good sized, which is a good thing because having a larger bar system is going to actually help you get that truer sound, surround sound experience. Um, if the speaker, if the bar is little, all the speakers are gonna be pushed towards the center, which isn't going to be helpful for a true surround sound experience because you need to have a center channel you need to have a right and left channel and then you need to have well this bar specifically has surround right and left too which are here so there's a speaker here 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 
here, here, so on, on the other side. So when they can spread out, you're going to get a better overall experience for depth of space of sound. <laughs> That's a good one. Nakamichi Soundbar, which company made it? Uh, Nakamichi. Anyone else think he looks like Ryan Reynolds at first? <laughs> I, I, I don't know if I see the resemblance. Here's a good one. What do I think of the Nakamichi 7.2.4 compared to other soundbars that I've heard? Uh, great question. My brother has been looking for a Atmos sound system since I purchased mine. And he's just looked at other options um, such as like the Walmart brand on um, Sony and Samsung and the cheaper versions though of the Atmos compatible ones. Um, none hold a candle to this, which is pretty impressive to say. Uh, he, he bought that. We sat it up, we set it up in his room and we instantly returned it. I was like, dude, no, he, he looked at me. He's like, Nope, that's not anything like yours. So we returned that. Um, we went out and bought the Samsung version and again, same thing. So these, this one had the upward firing speakers out of the bar, but it didn't have the rear speakers and those rear speakers make a huge difference in the Atmos uh, immersion, um, especially depending on your ceiling and stuff like that. But so far, I personally have not heard a sound, sound bar system that comes close to this. So what do I think overall of the Nakamichi 7.2.4? I love it. I think it's been a fantastic purchase. I'm very happy with this. Uh, at times, yes, I might wanna go up to the next level, but overall, very happy with the Nakamichi 7.2.4. Highly recommend it. This thing's great. Um, again, go down to the description box. Check out my other video if you'd like to see another review. If you guys would like to support me, this again is some of my work, DK Shoots. Um, you can find me on Facebook. You can find me on YouTube as well as DK Shoots. You can check out some of that work there or go to my Instagram. It's where I keep most of my up-to-date photos. That's DK Shoots 1. So I'd really appreciate the follows over on that as well. Um, I plan to do some photography videos this year and try to improve some of my photography work. Thank you guys so much for watching. And until next time, we'll see you guys later and enjoy your movie watching experience.